in this video, I'm sharing about my experience and progress with morning pages. Now that I'm on week four of my 12 week, The Artist's Way Recovery. The video you see is a live action recording of me writing my pages this morning. I was honestly supposed to get up at 6 a.m. to do them as the sun was rising and my house was quiet. However, after coming home late last night after work, I thought eight hours of sleep sounded better than six, and it was. And now here I am at midnight after getting home from work to tell you about how much I love this practice. I had committed to the artist's way during our last family council meeting and was going to work through it in the month of July. Now as July is almost over, I'm happy to look back and see that I've done my pages daily and I'm on, like I said, week four now. In this week, the author Julia Cameron shares that people going through the recovery program might feel an urge not to complete the pages this week. Each morning, um, pages that are written, with each morning we write these pages and we're becoming more of our true selves and therefore open to change, which could be intimidating for some. I haven't found that to be the case. However, I completely understand where she's coming from. I've discovered a few things about myself in what I want and what I value. The changes have all been good things and I'm happy to make them happen. And if I really think about it, these are changes I have known I should make, but haven't really been clear on the exact change that needed to happen until recently. So I'm sure most people who would watch a video like this know what Artist's Way or what the Artist's Way is and what morning pages are. But just in case you don't, it's a simple act of free form, stream of thought writing each morning before your day begins. You write for three pages. When you're done, you tuck them away for safekeeping until you're done with your 12 week program. At which time she says you can look back at them if you choose to do so. Each morning, the kids understand I'm spending time writing and are happy to watch television in the other room if they wake up and I'm still completing my pages like this morning I was since I slept in. However, there are plenty of times that I break away from my pages to go sit with them, If, like I said, if they're awake, or I'll make them cocoa, or I'll grab more coffee, coffee for myself. So on one of the weekly check-ins, the author asks you to review your pages for the week and write down if you were surprised with anything that was showing up or if there was any patterns. And I have to say I did see a lot of patterns in mine, mainly to-do lists or thinking of what I'm going to make for our meals for the day, if I'm going to be really honest. Who's awake? Good morning, my love. Are you gonna say hello? <laughs> Not very exciting stuff. However, there have been the mornings where my thoughts go to big ideas, frustrations, things I experienced the day before, or I'm trying to work through a problem I have. The author tells us not to judge what we write or how it's written. It's getting our thoughts on paper that's important. After I write my pages, I go for a walk, and I find I enjoy my morning walk so much more. My head feels clear, and I can pay attention to the scenery and goings on around me. The check-in that caused me to look back for patterns is a weekly check-in the book has you do in addition to your morning pages. It checks in to see how many times you sat down and completed your pages if you went on an artist date and usually one or two more questions. The artist date is a whole other topic and it's something I'm definitely struggling with, especially considering our current state of affairs. Going back to the current week though, the current week I'm on, like I said, is week four. And during this week, there is supposed to be a reading deprivation. And it says reading, um, but Julia Cameron also mentions uh, refraining from television. So I've been giving up watching YouTube videos this week, my nightly wind down show, reading news websites, newsletters from influencers, and even reading my new library books. 
and I just got them. And this is after four months without any type of new library book. So I was really excited to read them, but I'm going to wait one week. It hasn't been long um, so far, <laughs> um, but I've already noticed how much more I am able to put out, um, whether it's texting someone back, writing an email, writing in general, or even jotting down ideas. Plus, I'm listening to more music and discovering new and old favorites, which is super fun. Because I'm listening to more music in the car at home and on walks, I show up to work happier, I make our meals more efficiently, and I walk a little faster. Overall, I really like this week. I haven't completed my tasks yet, which is a whole other thing on top of daily morning pages and weekly artist dates and check-ins. They are exercises and activities you do each week after you finish reading the chapter of assigned, um, or that was assigned for the week. So the tasks have been fun. I've collected my answers and notes in my journal. A number of the questions will ask you to look back on things you enjoyed as a child or about your favorite activities. I've remembered a few things that I did when I was younger that I really haven't thought about in years, which was really fun. I also have been much more mindful about what I enjoy doing and what I don't enjoy doing that's incorporated into my daily routines. Finally, before I leave you, I want to share my love of sitting down and using a pen and paper to write. Sometimes I'm not sure if my pen is writing my thoughts or if my pen is feeding me my thoughts, if that makes sense. It's a really fun process where even the sound against the paper is something I look forward to after years of writing solely on the computer. I just really have found so much value in working through my first month of the artist's way. I think I'm scheduled to complete it at the end of September. But in the meantime, I was thinking of posting a write with me type video each week as part check-in and accountability for myself and also part community and discussion with others that are doing the program and maybe maybe part ambiance. I, I don't know. Maybe I'll post a second video of me just writing so you can write with me or maybe not. What are your thoughts and experiences with the artist's way? Thanks, guys. I'll see you next week.